Well, I didn't come out here for rain. We have enough rain back home. Yeah, well, I hope you brought your waterproof camera because I think you might be getting wet. Come on, it'll be fun. We can go mudding. Maybe we should just go back. It's a bad. It's just a little rain, Donna. What's gonna happen? Come on, man. say we're off course. Right. I've embedded the GPS data with photographs. They'll have no choice but to believe it. Okay. Now we send it. All right. It's done. Okay, good. We're done. Well, let's get out of here. Okay, guys. Point is home. Jump in. Visibility is zero. We're lined up here with that radar, so I'm going to take a lower. Wait. What's that? Time for games, Tessa. With that much stress in your voice, I think it's the perfect time. Come on! Come on where? I'm almost done revising. You don't have 15 minutes for your fiancé? That is a sad state of our union, sir. <laughs> okay, all right. 15 minutes. But that's it. I mean it. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. Let's go. <laughs> Going. You'll see, it's a surprise. <laughs> Wait, I have to climb some more? <laughs> yes. Come on, old man, try to keep up.
other couples call it a date. <laughs> it's been so long since we've just sat and eaten together. We've both been so busy. I know. You're always working on the turbine design. I'm always in the lab. I just think it's important we <laughs> spend some more time together, you know? Especially now that... John. Look. No. No, 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 it's too soon. It's not supposed to happen for another week. That can't be our story. Nothing else will be moving this fast. Come on, we gotta get to the briefing. stages of an extinction level event. Now this is Central Africa, which was once a desert, is now an inland sea. That storm began over the northern coast of Egypt, but the outer bands have already reached us here. Now, we're seeing moderate rainfall at the moment, but at the eye of the storm, the situation is more dire. The rainfall is amounting to two inches per hour. Well, we were told it'd be at least two weeks before we'd start seeing the effects. What changed? It's growing exponentially. That's right, Dr. Nichols. The eye is now expanding at a rate of roughly 200 miles in every direction, every day, and showing no indication of slowing down. The current projections are for 100% coverage of the planet within five weeks. Corporal? Yes, sir. I need the latest coordinates of the storm. Okay. It's coming in now. Here you go, sir. So, we're two years into a three-year project and you're giving us 35 days to complete the arc? You'd be thankful there was any warning at all. Thank the Navy for putting its resources into the ELE prevention. How far into construction are you? We still have the metal shielding and the interior, the mounting the propellers. And there's still the turbines, right? Right. The design is complete as of this morning, sir. What about your department, Dr. Nichols? What about those DNA collections? It isn't here. I have the seed banks and personal slides, but the majority of the samples are in a DNA lab in Denver until we can get the cooling units onto the ark. All right, I would recommend the first course of action is you get those specimens en route. Wait, wait, wait a minute. The other ARC sites, they've been waiting for my schematics to start constructing the turbines. They don't even have prototypes? Look, in all likelihood, the other ARCs aren't going to be finished in time. Now, we've had to reassess the situation. Look, but there's a chance, right? Because of the accelerated timeline, we're invoking a contingency plan. Ours is the only ARC that will probably be completed on time. What? <laughs> Are you saying that 90% of our fleet and the passengers aren't going to survive? Look, the, the passengers will gather at the Ark. There will be a lottery. 300 of them will be flown here to the Ark site. Our families were promised passage. My folks and my brothers, they still get on, right? My parents in Minneapolis and your mom? Look, the situation's changed. I've arranged for your families to be flown here. But given the inclement conditions, not everyone else is going to make it. What's the public being told? That this is a particularly strong hurricane season. Admiral. Let's have it, Lieutenant. The eye of the storm is less than 400 miles off the eastern seaboard. 400 miles off the coast? That's too close for the given rate of expansion. That's like less than three weeks until 100% coverage. The timeline is continuing to accelerate, sir. Then get to work. All right, dismissed. Wait, Admiral. The turbine plans. I know it seems near impossible, but we have to try, please. I have my orders, Lieutenant. And you have your conscience, sir. All right, look, I'll send it, but uh, in 24 hours, this country's drowning. Now, I've done my bit. You did yours. Dismissed. Come on! 
God, let us on the bridge. It's a hurricane. Always shut down the bridge. We need to be back at the house boarding things up. Yeah, come on, Brad. It's dangerous out there. Yeah, it's dangerous everywhere. Water level's rising by the minute. Way much longer. We won't have an island to come back to. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What are you doing? Saving our asses. Whoa, 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 radio 10 minutes ago. Their route is blocked by a landslide. They can't pass. Where are they? 35 miles southeast of here. Rebecca! Sir, to make matters worse, the units aren't in cooling tanks. They were frozen enough to make the trip, but in a couple of hours they'll thaw. When they do, we'll lose all of them. Have the motor pool rouse the Sea Dragon and crew and have Warren Officer Masters meet me there. What are you thinking? Someone has to get on the train and get those specimens. And Warren Officer Masters, one of the best SEALs the Navy's produced. She can lead the extraction. With all due respect, sir, she can't. There are over 100,000 species samples on that train, and the Sea Dragon isn't big enough to hold the whole thing. Not all of them are absolutely essential, but whoever goes needs to know which ones are. She's not going to know which of the 160,000 moth species are essential to rebuilding a stable ecosystem. You can't lose her on this project, you know. You go in, and you get your specimens, and you get out. You understand me? Understood. Masters, I want you to meet Dr. Tessa Nichols. Masters, listen up. There's a train carrying DNA samples. It's on a bridge, but it's been stalled by a rock slide. I need you to get Dr. Nichols on that train, and I need you to help her collect those samples, and I need you to get them and her back here in one safe piece. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. No, I also I want you back as soon as you can. The way this storm keeps exceeding uh, projections, what looks safe now could be absolute chaos in 30 minutes. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Good luck to you. Tessa. Tessa. What are you doing here? The train carrying the DNA bank got stuck on the tracks. They have to fly out. Well, can't they send someone else? John, I'll be fine. All right, be careful, okay? Survival means both of us. All of us. <laughs> you got it. Okay. I love you. I love you too. I'm gonna head back to my office, grab a couple things, check the setup, make sure we're ready to go when I get back. Yes, sir.
Hey, babe, it, it's me. No, no, just listen. How fast can you get to St. Louis? There's an arc there. There's a lot over passage. Make sure you're on it. What? Pack up and go. Pack a bag, don't, it doesn't matter. Just get to St. Louis. Why? These storms, they're not normal storms, okay? They're not gonna stop. I mean, this is, this is biblical. Go. Okay. Go now, go, tell nobody. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I love you. What's wrong? Who was that? Chase. Oh, what did he do now? He says we need to get to St. Louis. So said that the storm, it, it isn't a hurricane and it's not gonna stop. That there's a boat or something there that can save us. We, we just have to get there. St. Louis is a 10 hour drive. Then we're safe here. I know, but... I'll get my keys. I'll get Kylie. Okay. Kylie, I'm sorry, but we have to go. Jeez, Amanda, we're kind of in the middle of something. The, the storm out there is crazy. We have storm? to... Storm? Storm is a thunderstorm, Amanda. Grow up. Yeah, and get out. No, this isn't a joke. Chase called. He said we have to go. Okay. Go! Just leave us out of it. Kylie, please. Damn it. Amanda, leave. Now. Almost at the railroad line.
level. 36.2. 36.2. Check. Pollinators and seed dispersers. That's what's in this car? Yeah. Insects are essential to human life. <laughs> Honeybees provide at least one third of our annual food supply. This is the third car. More insects. Start the engine. What? Why? Radio masters now, get them out of there! Come in, masters! Tyler! You gotta get out of there! That's not good, is it? Run. We need more time! We gotta get back to the chopper. Get in, let's go! We're gonna have to jump! Can you do it with the canisters? No! Alright, I'll go in first! Grab my hand! Grab my hand! No! We need you! Lieutenant Robert, we need you! John Travis. Please meet Captain Frank Bridges, Captain Petty Officer Oates, Lieutenant. Petty Officer Himes. Hello. They're Hi, gonna be piloting the Ark. Uh, this is my assistant, Chase Freeman. It really is an amazing vessel you designed here, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. What's the passenger capacity? She can hold up to 50,000 persons. And this marvel of technology is going to make her go? Yes, sir. Hmm. How does it work? Well, the turbine generates two types of energy. The first is a form of hydroelectricity from water flow to the turbine components via slits or gills, if you like, on the outside of the hull. It's not enough to make the entire arc powered, but combined with the other form of energy that this thing generates. Motion, sir. As the waves rock the arc, a kinetic ballast on the turbine harnesses that energy and transfers it to a bank of power cells. And now that, along with the hydroelectricity, is enough to power all our electrical and our propulsion systems. No fuel, no gas, just water and motion. And we shouldn't run out of those until the Ark is back on dry land again. And the test proved successful. We conducted hydroelectrical tests this morning. We aced them. And the kinetic ballast? You're just in time for that, sir. Running ballast valves now. Take a few seconds. I uh, take it this is not part of the test, Lieutenant. No, sir. There's a uh, short in one of the connections to the power cells. No. No way. I triple checked the joule to watts conversion. It should be perfect. Well, can you identify the error? There's hundreds of them, sir. If, if one goes down, they all go down. It's like Christmas lights. I have to turn it all off. How long to prep another ballast? Can't prep another ballast, sir. Not here, not in time. That's unacceptable. If we could track down another kinetic ballast, I could make the necessary modifications. This technology is theoretical, correct? Where are you gonna get another ballast? No, the, the application of the technology is theoretical, Captain. But the basic components already exist. Kinetic ballasts have been used in buoys for years. And where do you expect to find another buoy, Lieutenant? Illinois. There's a shipyard in Joliet in the river that has buoys and dry dock. And this can be identified and removed? It can. I can do it, sir. All right. This is a stealth operation, Lieutenant. They can't know you're there, and they can't know what you're removing. Understood. Amato will accompany you. I'm going to scramble the sea dragon. I want you to leave right away. Yes, sir. Thank you.
And Lieutenant, there's no room for failure. Yes, sir. I did. John, I... John, I, I triple-checked every figure. We, we were moving so fast, I must have just... I, I, I don't know. Somehow, I must have made a miscalculation, okay. but okay, I... Okay, calm I, down. Calm down, okay. I need you to identify the fault of connection. I need you to have it repaired before I get back. Yes, sir. Go! Okay, okay. How do you mean? With what we have here, humanity will only be able to survive for another couple of years. So basically... Yes. Without a much wider array of moth samples, humanity goes extinct. Four-digit code Wallace had it hacked for us. Where are you? Here we go. Phillips. different than the entry code.
Officers. What are you doing here? Sorry, kid. Okay, let's go. Come on. Well, it wasn't flawless, but it was successful. Maybe. Maybe? On that boat. I am not going back there. We need to find a drop. We just need to keep moving. What is that? Say go! Run! Guys, okay? You look like we're okay. We need to get to St. Louis. Can you please help us? What's in St. Louis? A boat, like a big boat. It could save us. We'll help you if you help us. Okay, you can come along. Not unless my family can come too. Okay. All right, come on. Every person in Morgantown is my family. These are who's left. This better be a big boat. Let's hope. Come on, let's go! What's wrong? We, we, we didn't get everything we needed, not all of it. Well, what happened, Masters? In the process of collecting samples, sir, the train was struck by a cyclone. It was destroyed before we could get everything off of Dr. Nichols' list. What did you get? Most everything, but a few key species are missing. Like what? Like uh, mold, fungus, spores, an entire range of single-celled organisms. All right, well, what are the most important species? The insects, honeybees. You said honeybees were vital. Did we get any samples? We did. They were in the canister. We lost them. What, they're absolutely integral to the project? Yes. Honeybees uh, pollinate plants. The plants we eat, the plants animals eat, fruits, vegetables, nuts. Without the honeybees, we, we could survive the flood, but there is no way we would be able to produce enough crops to support a nation. All right, so how do we get some more? We don't! That train was our only shot. Our only other option is to go to the bees' natural habitat and collect specimens, and, and all of them have been inundated with rainwater for over a week and a half. What about the caves? Yes, they might have sought shelter in a cave if, if it was off the ground and away from the floodwaters. Okay, so how do you make it happen? We would have to find caves near the foothills. Then all we'd need is a thermal indicator device to locate the hives. All right, well, check the cache in the, in the Ark's cabin. You'll find what you need there. Also, sir, the Sea Dragon isn't going to cut it. The storm's picking up, and we, we need something like a WC-130. Might be that the AFB in Colorado Springs has one. We can hop on the Dragon, pick it up, and then work our way back north. How long is this going to take? It isn't up to me. It's up you to what we find. You got No! Deadlines don't apply in this case! No, no samples means no survival. We can't come back until we find what we need. Look, it's no good to radio Colorado Springs. All you're going to get is static. Now, I'll write up an executive order in case you run into the opposition. 
I want you to go get your supplies. I want you to go to the motor pool. I want you to be airborne in an hour. I, I have to process these first and get them into proper cooling units. I'll take care of it. And John, he's not going to like that I've gone out again. He's going to want to know why. I'll see to it. Masters. Thank you, sir. From. It's not safe here. You know what's going on. That's why we're here. Man, we don't know what you're talking about, all right? Get back in the car and go Bullshit! Back. Bullshit! Our boyfriend's one of you in Colorado. He told me about the arts. Told us about the lottery. What our chance. I'll radio with it. Yeah. Screw this. Hey, 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 hey,
what I think. I have no idea. you on your mission. Getting Mr. Travis in and out, nobody killed. Objective in hand. Good job. Thank you, sir. If your matter survives, it'll be indebted to you. No, sir. If we survive this, it's all you. So what is it? It's from St. Louis, sir. It's a transcript of the internal communications from the ARC site. The base commander sent it along with a distress signal. Well, what else have you heard from them? Communications at St. Louis are down, sir. Matter of fact, the only site in contact is Denver. This can't go unpunished. I've... Have you identified the responsible party? Well, I want a name, now. Not so safe. Yeah, and probably under a lake. Well, if the bees are here, they'd have to be somewhere dry. Don't see too many spots in here that fit that criteria. I know.
Hello, Freeman. Admiral. Is uh, everything okay? Would you come with me, please? You uh, talked to your girlfriend Amanda in Pittsburgh on the phone, and you told her about the St. Louis site, didn't you? And she, like you, has a big mouth, and she brought a thousand people to the site, all demanding passage. Sir, I don't have any family, and, and everyone else is. The St. Louis site is destroyed, Freeman. Your people are gone, our people are gone. All presumed dead. No. You're lucky I don't shoot you myself. Here. Take this. What's that? You're gonna take your chances like everybody else. Frankly, it's better than you deserve. Take it. I just need, I just wanna to talk to you for one second, okay? Just one second. Navigation and comm systems are down, and we're low on fuel. If we can locate Denver, I can approximate a course from there to Hunley, but anything else is just too risky. Okay, so you can find the base, but you can't land there, so... No. There really is no other option. No, we're not gonna jump out of this plane. Listen, we jump tandem, we jump low. If we hold the chute long enough, it's possible. I've done it before. But as I see it, you got two choices. You want to jump? Or you want to die? Oh my god. I found Denver. Flooded. It's all flooded. Are we ready? Uh, yes, sir. Then begin. Shouldn't we wait for no, Freeman? No. Just proceed, Lieutenant. Engaging ballast now. Generator is online. Turbine is charging. It's working. Well, let's hope it stays that way. What else has to be done? Well, we have to get the turbines back in the compartments and then wired into the uh, power grid on the arc. But I'm ready when Maggie is. And are you in Senor? Sir, we're working on the turbine housings and the slotted hole panels, but we're close. There's just a lot to be done. How many in days? Six, seven days. We don't have six or seven days, Ensign Younger, so work faster. Sir. Yes. Have you heard from Tessa? No. It's been days. I, I understand your concern. Uh, Dr. Nichols is in good hands, okay? 
don't let your emotions interfere with your work, Lieutenant, it could have catastrophic results. Carry on. Are we? Well, the turbines are in, the panels are going on, and the wiring's half done. It would be a lot easier with an assistant. Did you assign Freeman somewhere else? Freeman's been dismissed. Dismissed? What the hell does that mean? He opened his mouth, and as a result, the St. Louis site was breached. Presumably destroyed. St. Louis? But where is he? Where did you send him? I sent him to take his chances in the Denver lottery. That's murder. Actually, it's merciful. Ask Younger. Maddie? Maddie! My family was assigned to the St. Louis site. My folks and my brothers were there. Come on, let's go. Who the hell are you? Thank you is how most folks would lead off. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not most folks. Now, who are you? Just another creature up here with nowhere to run. My name's Ralph. I'd ask who you are, but judging from your uniforms, I'm guessing you're heading to Hunley. Yes. And judging from your urgency, I guess there's good reason to be there. Yes, there's there's very good reason. No. Yes! I'm not taking responsibility for this. I will! I will! I, I, I'll i explain what happened! Come on! You're coming with us! Well, I got folks with me. That's okay. They can come too. All of them. All right then, let's go. Come on. Uh, she's impressive, Ensign Young. But is she seaworthy? 
Well, once we get those panels sealed over the turbine compartments, yes, sir, she will be. Are the turbines already in place? Yes, sir. And John's in there right now finishing up the wiring. What the hell is this? Admiral, kindly tell your guards the armed escort isn't necessary. When I find out who these people are, I will. They're passengers. According to who? According to me. They saved me and Lynn, so they saved this. You were successful? Yes, we were. Lieutenant, find these fine people quarters immediately. Yes, sir. Come with me. Uh, everyone, follow me. Admiral, the timeline, it's, it's off. Denver's underwater, sir. That's not all. The waters are rising above the mountains, and before long, they'll either rise above or break on through. All right, first things first. Get out of those wet clothes. Get those samples in the cooling units immediately. Yes, sir. As soon as I see John. Dr. Nichols, your fiancé is doing his job, which I suggest you do. If the timeline is accelerated as you say it is, we have no time to spare. Yes, sir. Get going. Would you believe me if I said it was nerves? Not after the last 12 hours. How far along are you? 10 weeks. You're even braver than I thought. Come on. <laughs> Maddie's got the cooling units in the arc set up. Let's go. How many passengers made it? 
roughly? Maybe 500. Yeah. Full steam ahead. Wait, the launch door is still closed. We can't open it from here. We have to go through. Full steam ahead. Are you okay? I'm everything okay? I'm fine. We're we're fine. <laughs> All right, guys, look at our room. <laughs> Come on. on water. It is just the turbine panel that is breached. We are fine. The compartment itself is sealed. Oats? Confirmed, sir. Only the panel's breached. What about the turbine? Engaging turbine. First attempt failed. Trying to restart turbine. Non-responsive. The core propeller is losing speed and electrical systems are dropping a half power. Can we redirect power from the other turbine? Yes, we can, but it's going to take a while and then we will still be operating only at half power. What's the problem with that? We're not, we're not in a hurry to go anywhere. But well, the problem is some of these waves out here are bigger than we are. If we don't get that turbine up and running, we're at the mercy of this storm. That means we're done for. Without enough power, this thing is just a million ton top. Well, I know that, but we're only running essential electrical systems. And we've been working non-stop rerouting power from the working turbine, all right? We're not dead yet. Captain Bridges needs a progress report. Tell him the port turbine is shot, but that we rewired the other one. The propellers are operating. It's just half power. The cell is up, but it's snagged on an unfinished plate and hanging by a thread. Not gonna last. So what do I tell the captain? Tell him that the turbines are a failure. Look, it's time to try something else. I'm gonna need your help. You got it. It appears that we were over what was Denver, completely underwater. Hopefully the Denver Ark was able to launch. Turbines are down. Sail is ripped. We're at the complete mercy of the storm. Captain, we are now over the Denver Ark site. No sign of the Ark. Hopefully they were able to maneuver the mountains without the turbines. We're both at the mercy of the waves.
This is our last chance. Are those sails? They're canopies of knitted steel wool and polyester scrims. Can't be torn. We need to climb up to the sail. We'll use these canopies to patch the hole in the sail. It'll be dangerous, but we can do it. Wait, wait, who is this we were talking about? This is going to take three of us. Any volunteers? I'll go. Tell me in. OK. As soon as we have the sail tied down, I'll give you the signal. You get Bridges to disengage the sail. Got it. OK, I'll go first. You hand me the sail. up there. Uh, is she alive? She's alive, but just barely. The model's gone. No. Oh, no. But her vitals have been strengthening over the last 24 hours. Maddie's with her now. How's everything going up here? Working like a charm. Don't have a lot of power, but we have control. Hey guys, can I see you in the infirmary for a minute? Why, is everything okay? Just come on. <laughs> What's going on, Maddie? Patient staff, you'll see. Oh my god! Lynn! Lynn, how are you? Thirsty? Hungover? 
<laughs> she's a bit dehydrated, but she's gonna be all right. Yeah, you've been out for a long time. Where's the motto? I'm sorry, Lynn, but uh, he didn't make it. How's it feel? Good. Strong. <laughs> free, we'll have to force ourselves free. How are we supposed to do that? You need some kind of explosion, something with significant force. Which would require an accelerant, and we don't have a... What are you using to cool the DNA samples? Um, ethyl chloride refrigerants. How many tanks? Eight per unit? Four units? Is that enough? That's more than enough. One unit is enough. Wait, one unit? That's a quarter of the samples. That's a hell of a lot better than losing everything. Okay, okay, okay. I... I would just have to rearrange some things. Um, make sure that we have the essential samples. Okay, good. Okay. Tessa, get that hole drilled. Checking. All right, in and out. Let's go.
Has anybody considered the possibility of this actually working? Uh, better not think about it in terms of numbers. Light the line. So, <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. Commerce, sir. Sound the alarm in the crew quarters, Alex. What's going on, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is Captain Frank Bridges. Who am I speaking with? Captain Bridges, this is Freeman. Freeman. You made it. You made it. <laughs> What's your location? I'm on the Denver Arc. We're with the rest of the fleet over in Kansas. The rest of the fleet? Yes, sir. Not all the Arcs made it, but we're with Blowing Rock, Los Alamos, Minneapolis. Minneapolis! My parents! Your mom! <laughs> I guess Admiral Wallace must have got them the plants in time. Did anyone else make it? Is Maddie there? I'm here. St. Louis made it. Word is, you got a lot of family on board. Thank God. <laughs> Preparing to meet up with you, Denver.
Feel. 